July and August in the southern plains are always going to be months when the, the temperature is quite high. Heat stress is a potential profit robber for any cow-calf operation. We can't do much about the weather, but we can do our best to avoid self-inflicted heat stress that we would put on, on the cattle. I think one of the things we want to consider is the fact that during very hot days, it takes cattle about six hours of nighttime cooling to dissipate the heat that they've gathered up throughout the daytime. So that tells me that we want to avoid working cattle in late afternoon, even early evening hours because those cattle have still uh, got their body temperature uh, elevated just a little bit. We want to do our cattle working, if at all possible, very early in the morning. Try to conclude by 8 a.m. if at all possible, and certainly I would draw the line at 10 a.m. as the last that I would want to work cattle on a hot summer day. If we're working with some, uh, say, fall-born calves that we're weaning at this time of the year, Let's be really careful about making sure that as we run them through the chute, give them their vaccinations, perhaps implant them, that we try to do that as early in the morning as possible and that we don't force these calves or their mamas to stand in open, dry lots in the sunshine for more than about 30 minutes at a time. If for some reason our breeding season hasn't concluded and we're still doing some artificial insemination on some cows, again, I would really encourage you to do that early in the morning rather than later in the afternoon or the evening hours. Research here at Oklahoma State has shown us that heat stress, even as long as seven to 10 days after the cow is bred, can have an adverse impact on the health, the strength, and the viability of that uh, f little small born embryo. So as we're thinking about uh, working cattle this summer, let's try to do our best to give the cattle and ourselves the best opportunity to work at the coolest time of day, early in the morning, avoid that late afternoon or early evening hours, and I think it'll help us in the long run in terms of the health of the cattle and certainly our own attitude. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on Sunup's Cow-Calf Corner.